everybody. Welcome to you all. Jess here, Key Tarot. I'm so happy to be able to read your cards for you today. This is going to be a real quick general reading. If you have not already liked and subscribed, please do so if you feel so inclined. I'm happy to have you all. Let's say a blessing and we will find out together what's coming out. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Holy Spirit, thank you for being with us all here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them. Amen. Alrighty, I'm going to start with this uh, traditional Rider Waite tarot deck. We'll see what we have coming up here for somebody. Alright. Oh, oh boy. Anytime I have cards that fly off the table, onto the floor, across the room, it's always of significance to me. Usually it means something that somebody is not really ready to talk about. And it was the Nine of Wands, which is our Wounded Warrior card. Um, oh. Ooh, I just felt like a pain here too. Um, okay, um, so... The, let's just talk about it for just a quick second and then we'll get more cards out in a minute. That Nine of Wands, I, I, as I was saying, it's our Wounded Warrior card. It's someone who's been through some things um, before. Your first card out was the Temperance card on its side here. Um, that Sagittarius energy, I'm just calling out Zodiac signs in case they're of significance to you. If they're not, it doesn't matter at all. Really, um, when cards come out on their side for me as a reader, it means that you're kind of going to have to be in charge of deciding whether it goes into the upright position or into the reverse. And it feels like somebody needs to talk to someone. It's a soulmate energy with the Six of Cups. It's somebody that you are quite attached to, someone that you are... Um, possibly in a relationship with. I've got the moon out there with the Ace of Swords. Um, the moon is Cancerian energy, um, but it is, it's all about the things that we keep hidden, the things that we suppress, the things that we don't necessarily want everyone else to know about. It can represent secrets. It can represent untold truths. And with that Ace of Swords, that is literally telling the truth in a situation. Okay. I have the Nine of Cups over here backing all this up. And the Nine of Cups is a real happy, positive card. It really is. It's about blessings. It's about abundance. It's about having everything that you need. But I feel like there's an issue here. There's definitely an issue here. I'm going to clarify with another deck in a minute. I always do. Um, but let me get a few more out with this deck because that Nine of Cups... I feel like someone here is ready to make some major changes in their life. And I feel like a relationship here is kind of, and I'm hearing the words on the chopping block. Um, let me look. I've got the magician on the bottom of the deck. That's Ophiuchus energy for me as a reader. A lot of other readers will say Aries energy. You do you. Um, that's someone who's really good at getting their, at, at um, getting what they need. Okay, let me see. Let me just look a little bit further here with this deck and then we'll switch to another one. Thank you. You don't want to have this conversation with someone. It feels like you may be um, ready to move forward in a relationship or ready to move out of a relationship actually um, because I feel like you've found happiness with someone else. I don't think that you want to tell the person that you're currently with the truth. It feels like, um, so with this four of cups right here on the bottom, it feels like um, this is a relationship that's kind of run its course for you. But, you. but the other person involved in this relationship with you, it feels like they keep trying, they keep trying, but... The truth of the matter is you're not interested anymore. Boy, howdy. You have found something else that you want more, that Ace of Pentacles. I don't know if it's another person. Um, okay, let's just get another deck. <laughs> um, so basically what I'm seeing here, and just in a nutshell, 
is someone who knows that they're ready for something new and something different in their life, but they're in some kind of a committed relationship with someone that they've been with for a while. That Six of Cups is, um, like I was saying, it's soulmate energy. It can be a past life connection. It can be someone that you've grown up with or someone that you had intended to grow old with. It was, it was a big connection for you. And what do we say about soulmates? You know, I'm old, so I repeat myself constantly. Um, a season, a reason, or a lifetime. Yes. Um, and it feels like this relationship has run its course for you. But the person that you are in a relationship with may not feel the same way, and you may know that. And it feels like this is going to be a difficult conversation. To, you feel like this is going to be a difficult conversation for you to have with this person. And I feel like you may have met someone else that has um, sparked your interest or that you have some tremendous feelings for. Okay, I'm gonna give, the, this is the Rainbow Tarot. It's another traditional deck. Let's give it a little shuffle here. Oh, kids, I just split it to the King and the Queen of Cups. It feels like you've met your match. And I feel like the person that you've been with for a while probably wasn't this person. They're not this person. All right. Um, I have the strength card there and I have this eight of wands, which is communication. Holy smokes. I've got the four of wands right there with the seven of swords right behind it. That four of wands is that twin flame 1111 awakening card. And that seven of swords is very deceptive energy. Um, I feel like you've been maybe not telling the truth to the current partner that you're with about your feelings about this person. Oh no. Um, you may share a similar friend group with this new person. And I say new person, but with that four of wands, that four of wands can indicate marriage. It can indicate um, a new stabilization in your life in some way. And again, with the Knight of Swords, again, um, there's a need to have a conversation here. And I feel like I'm reading for someone who has known this truth about themselves for a while and it's time for you to take the steps, the steps of authenticity. And it hurts me so much. I've got the Six of Cups there again. Um, the person that you're letting go of may be Cancerian energy. The person that you're moving towards could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or um, they may have Leo heavily in their chart. Also, I have Sagittarius here with the Temperance card out there again. You get a bunch of um, repeats here. Um, whoever I'm reading for, you feel very strongly pushed in the direction of this new person, and you feel very strongly that it is time for this new beginning to happen. I have the Three of Cups on there, which can indicate a third-party situation. I'm not saying that that's what's happened here yet, but it is really apparent that there is a situation here. You and this new person feel the same way about one another. This is like star-crossed lovers here with the star energy. Um, you are meant to know this person as well. And I have the Hierophant here. You may end up marrying this person. Good heavens, kiddos. Let me just, um, for those of you who are, and there's the Ace of Pentacles right there again, twice out, so many repeats in this little tiny reading so far. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Um, you feel quite strongly that this is your person. My, my, my. Okay. And there's the magician again on the bottom of the deck. We were just talking about that guy. Someone who's very good at accomplishing what they set out to achieve. Okay, let's just, let's talk, a, well, okay. How about you tell me what I need to know? How about that? I like it when you guys just tell me what I need to say. I mostly just read the cards and I read the energies that come out. Let's just have a little look, see how you're doing here. Thank you. I have the Empress that comes out with the Queen of Wands. Um, this person that's coming towards you, um, they could be a fire sign energy 
or water sign. I mean, really, it's not about the zodiac signs that come out when it comes to tarot. Sometimes they are of significance and sometimes they're not. That Empress is Virgo energy, but it really represents divine feminine energy. And with that Four of Wands coming out there like that, this is probably a divine counterpart energy that's come into your life. And when you met them, it was a surprise. I don't know if you're this Empress or if you're someone who's moving towards this Empress. I don't know which side of the coin you are on here, and I don't know which character you play in this story, but whoever this person is that's come into your life, they have changed everything quite drastically. Um, it's almost like you can't see anyone but them, and you feel very much the same about one another, whether you've talked about it or not. Um, you may have a largely online um, connection with this person. Um, I feel like you know this person in person, but I feel like most of your communication happens online. Um, I feel like I'm reading for someone who um, has had some deep conversations with this person. There's something about this person that like, that you're instantly sucked into them. Like there's something, either it's about the way that, and it's really just about their soul calling them to you and you calling them in yourself. So it's no no surprise that you've met this person. You were meant to, I see 1111 on the counter there. Um, it's no surprise that you've met this person, but you are already in a relationship with someone else and telling them the truth about your feelings about this relationship is gonna be difficult, which I think is why you haven't had that conversation yet. You dig? Okay. Um, I feel like the reason that you have stayed in the relationship that you're currently in has to do largely with finances and you it's very possible for a handful of you. You may share a family with this person. Um, you may have children with this person. And this person that you're currently in a relationship with, yep, there it is. I got the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles right there. And I have the Queen of Pentacles and I have the Queen of Pentacles. There's something to do with your work either being wrapped up with them, your household being wrapped up with them, something like that. And there's that darn magician again. All right, let's clarify this Nine of Cups real quick. Thank you. Oh, no. All right, another card out on the floor. Okay, so listen, um, so whoever you are, you understand that there are going to have to be a lot of changes made to your life. You may have a whole home with this person you've been with for a while. I don't see necessarily marriage, but I see a long-term commitment with this person that you've been with for a while. Um, and I see the Six of Swords is all about physical relocation. It can be about moving house. You're gonna have to do that in order to be with this new person. And that is no small feat. Look, there's the emperor with the empress. Mm, you crazy kids, you. Divine counterpart energy. Somebody here is quite upset. Um, this is a, this is, and there's my nine of wands again. Um, whatever this new person, whoever this new person is, you guys started out as friends and it grew into something more and you feel quite alone with these feelings. I don't even know if you've told this new person how you've been feeling. Let me tell you with that ace of pentacles out there twice, that is something you can trust in. That is something you can believe in. Take to the bank, if you will. Um, it's very authentic to you. It's very honest. I just saw 1331 on the counter. You feel alone with these feelings. That's why I feel like you haven't even told this new person. And I say new person, they're not a new person to you. You've known, your souls have known each other for generations, for forever, literally. Um, but you feel quite alone with these feelings. Like, it's just you and your higher power that know about these feelings. It's crushing. It's hurting my heart. <laughs> it's all right. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I'm worried about you. Let's see here. Uh, I think you know you're going to have to move. I think you know that you're going to have to uproot your life. I think that there's a lot of financial hardship that's going to come from this change. And a lot of you are not going to be strong enough to go ahead and go through with it. Um, and some of you are. 
I'll tell you what, um, what's meant to be will always be. I just saw 1444 on the counter. A lot of um, numerological, um, like noteworthy numbers coming across my camera right there. Um, what's meant to be will be, and the truth always comes out. It's going to be a hard conversation, kids. Tell me. I mean, here's the deal. Yeah, a lot of drama. A lot of drama coming from this, right? And I think you know that. Here's the deal. Um, you can either move forward towards this new person or you can stay where you are. That That's the way it is. Um, and those are your options. And both options are fine. I don't see a ton of problems with your current partner. It just feels inauthentic to you. Mm -mm. And I feel like um, you can stay there forever. Um, if you do, it's going to evolve into more of like a roommate dynamic. And it probably already is. To a certain extent, um, this new person, it while it does seem like a solid deal, it's not going to be without its bumps in the road. It's and every relationship has its hardships. It's really just up to you as to what you want. For a lot of you, I see you letting go of this situation. I see you moving forward. I see you letting go and going ahead and being very, very strong, being very, very brave and tackling that um, as part of your life path. You know, with that strength card, there's no reason to be strong unless there's something to be strong about, right? Um, some of you will choose to stay where you are and just know that this other person is out there and it will be a little bit torturous. <laughs> and that's, that's okay too. I mean, it's really, truly just about what you want to do. There is no... Oh, with this Knight of Wands, I mean, like, you're very turned on by this person. And the Ace of Wands right behind it, very good. Um, that's a lot of sexual passion. That's a lot of um, attraction towards this, um, I'm going to say, divine counterpart. All right? And when divine counterparts enter our lives, they have a tendency to turn them upside down, for darn sure. Yes, they do. Um, and with this other person, it feels like you've been through multiple cycles of separation, coming back together, and separation, and coming back together. Some of you will go so far as to actually pick fights with your current partner in the hopes that they will leave you before you leave them. Ooh. And there's your nine of cups again. You have a lot of money wrapped up in this person and you have a household with this person. So some of you, I don't know how this is gonna go. This is a whole different reading, but some of you are going to engage in a third party situation with this divine counterpart. That's not great. Um, that's someone who's got kind of a distorted feminine or distorted masculine, both sides. Um, but you do you, no judgment, of course, of course not, never. Um, this card doesn't even belong in this stack, what's that? Some of you, um, for some of you, this has evolved from a workplace dynamic. Some of you will throw yourselves into work to avoid this and some, okay, here's what you're gonna do. You're going to sit and wait. And I feel like a lot of you, especially the masculines who are watching this reading and it resonates for you, a lot of you are trying to amass wealth on your own because there's something about this person that you're currently with and have this household with where either they have a lot of money or you have a lot of money wrapped up with them with them or you share some kind of a work dynamic with them. Um for the masculines that are watching this and you're saying like, yeah, that sounds like my story. Um, it feels like you're trying to amass wealth. Those of you who are feminines who are watching this and this um, reading and it resonates for you as to someone that you're dealing with, um, this masculine, and I'm just referring to masculine feminine. It's not about your gender and it's not about your orientation at all. I say it every day and I mean it. Um, whoever this person is, the, the masculine energy here, is trying to create wealth on their own so that they feel like they can leave. Okay. Difficult decision and it's decision day. 
there it is with that two of swords and really and truly whoever I'm reading for it feels like you're doing your very best to block out other people's noise other people's opinions because I'm sure everyone that you've talked to about this situation if and I don't think you've told anyone about whoever this divine counterpart is that's entered into your life um, but those of you who have reached out to friends loved ones co-workers or counselors of any kind and expressed um, dissatisfaction with your current relationship, I'm sure you're trying to tune that out right now because they don't know you and you know that they don't know you and they don't know what's going on behind the scenes. On the outside, it looks pretty darn good. On the inside, you're feeling your feelings. It's time for a separation with the Four of Swords um, just so that you can work your head out work out in your head what you need to do with the seven of cups that four of swords right there that's all about taking a break it's about separation energy taking a break from one another you may just about be on the cusp of that and for those of you who are about to be on the cusp of that you've known it for a while that this was coming because it's gotten to be too much you've started arguing with your current partner mm -hmm, with the five of swords um like i said some of you are actually trying to pick fights um to end this um it's gotten to be too much to handle and you're overwhelmed and with that high priestess energy that's Pisces energy that's someone who knows that it's time for a change and you've known you've had a gut feeling for a long time ever since you met this counterpart whoever they are you have known 21 12 on the counter I love you guys very much. Thank you for letting me read your cards for you. If this was your reading, do drop a note down in the comments um, below and let me know. I'm not the best at returning comments. I'm really not. But I do give it a try every opportunity that I can. Um, I got a bunch of kids, and so they take up a lot of my time, and I work a lot as well. I love you all very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are so inclined, and I will see you all soon. Mwah, hang in there.